This was another little gadget that uh, was made long ago, 1991. Uh, it was made so as to be able to use a file accurately in the lathe. And uh, it's not something one does very often, but it's a fairly easy way to put a couple of flats 180 degrees out on a, the end of a shaft, for instance or even dressing something that needs tidying up. So what we've got, not very complicated, but fiddly. We've got a base plate. We've got four little riding pins there. We've got a center thread. That thread is 30 TPI. And this is the height adjustment disc, which is marked <coughs> marked from one to eight <coughs> so we'll put this back on the whoops i have to speed this up it'll take forever there we go all right so we've then got to be able to attach this to the uh, compound slide so we've got a T-nut and stud. And that will go, I'll show you actually, we'll put it in the lathe in a minute. Now what we might call the business end, this was made uh, instead of welding anything I actually took a center piece of bar two small pieces of bar and we drilled those symmetrically the pair and we've got I don't know where we can get some detail here we've got two little whoops set screws each side there Oh no, there and there. Oops, there we go. And the larger holes are for the uh, guide pins. Let's put it back in place. Now the rollers are just uh, mild steel, but they have been heat treated and case hardened. So we'll put this on here. I forget which way it goes better. Got to get this get started. There we go. So what we've got here is we can see. I'll come in close again in a minute. We can see the graduation on the support wheel either side. That means we can dial in height or drop. And then, the basic operation, this is a tatty old file, basic operation, with lots of oil incidentally, is like that over the work. And the notes that I made on here, <coughs> engraved, one turn is uh, 33,000. An eighth of a turn is 4.2 thou. So generally working an eighth of a turn at a time and just gradually filing down, you can get a pretty nice finish. And we'll put that in the lathe real quick, just so you can see it. Okay, well we're mounted on the uh, <coughs> compound. Now we've got a bit of scrap in there and I've just been putting a little bit of a flat on the top here this is a crappy old file so it just happens to be handy one thing is this file has a safe edge and for this job generally speaking you want a file with a safe edge if you haven't got it you've got to grind it off so we're only taking a cut underneath and this is a coarse cut so what I'm doing here 
with pressure across the whole of the top. Now both the rollers are turning. I meant to point out earlier, these uh, rollers are running on bronze pins and I put some fresh oil on. Now the front roller is turning so if I come down by one increment which is not enough come down a bit more now it's beginning to cut again the front roller is taking a little bit of movement and I can come down another let's come down another eight thou see the front roller isn't turning now it's beginning to and then gradually as I work at that the front roller will pick up and turn all the time so I won't go any further it gets boring doesn't it all I was going to show you because this is it's a very rough cut I mean heck <coughs> this is not not the normal file I'd use for this job it just happens to, happen to come to hand so anyway it's uh, enough to give you an idea so let's try and zoom in tight on there so what we got there is the beginning of a flat all right it's not very big but with patience you can finish up with a very presentable flat and if I was using my dividing wheel on the back end of the spindle there I could get an accurate 180 degrees or 90 so I could actually file a square a square end if I wanted to so there we are another little gadget took a while to make but it's uh, been useful another early piece that was made uh, this goes back again to about 88 if there's a date on it which there is 88 uh, this was a 2x2 two two lump of steel basically mild so we shaped that out this was uh, I think this was in a magazine actually the basic idea and it seemed like worth trying Once it's shaped and then it's uh, been milled out on the back here and polished up, all we've got then is a, th is a thread and a knob. And this little piece, which may or may not show up. There you are. You see it's out of a piece of round that's turned down and we've kept ourselves a little low on it. Thread down the middle. And that goes into the slot here. In fact, thinking about it, I'm just trying to remember now how I made it. Uh, yes, you see the uh, the block was bored before relieving this material. That's how we've got that shape in there. So we put the uh, put the little piece with the lug on it bring that in and then we can get a ruler we'll take a 12 inch this is a 6 obviously <laughs> and then that can go on our surface plate which uh, what I've got left is a 12 by 8 surface plate my large 24 by 18 was so darn heavy I sold it before I moved over so anyway there's this uh, little gizmo it was an interesting piece to make not that it's used a whole lot but uh, still quite pleasing and then finally just whilst we're doing little bits and pieces <laughs> this is about as basic as it gets it really is basic there you are you can see all that is 
it wasn't even machined. It's just a, a piece of heavy and a piece of light screwed, drilled and tapped, screwed, just to give that reference edge. And all it's for, if it's not even obvious, is uh, it's a scribing tool. Set the distance one way or the other. Set the angle of the uh, pin. And I think the pin was uh, part of a masonry pin, so it's hard. So you can just run along an edge and get a scribe line. Again, very simple. <laughs>